Jackie, Johnny, federal prosecutors believe that that Baltimore company may have defrauded Amtrak out of more than half a million dollars. These may be the first charges in this case that spans nearly a decade. It's the third uh, busiest train station in, that Amtrak has. This is a promotional video from Amtrak released in 2018. It talks all about the benefits of the team working on the 30th Street Station restoration project. Now, four years later, one of the companies featured prominently in this video is facing potential federal fraud charges related to the project. We're talking about Vega Solutions, Inc. Its website says it's a consulting firm in Baltimore. In 2016, Vega Solutions was given a $1.3 million contract by Amtrak to monitor the restoration work done by the primary restoration company. In 2018, Vega Solutions got another $2.9 million. But now, federal court documents filed last week say Vega Solutions and its president, Madura Atikar, conspired with an Amtrak employee to use these contracts to illegally enrich themselves. The documents say Atitkar paid the Amtrak employee $150,000 in cash bribes in exchange for helping secure the original contracts and for greenlighting bogus expenses submitted to Amtrak. For example, federal prosecutors say the defendants provided the Amtrak employee two Ford Explorers for work purposes, but the Amtrak employee, quote, did not need these vehicles because he sat in a trailer directly across the street from the 30th Street Station. Amtrak covered the nearly $35,000 expense. The court documents continue to show examples of excessive spending on women's clothing, cigars, as well as more than $250,000 worth of work hours paid for by Amtrak, which, quote, should have never been charged. In all, prosecutors believe Vega Solutions and its president defrauded Amtrak out of at least $717,000. Vega Solutions did not return our written request for comment, and its phone numbers were not working when we called. Now, for this story, we reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Amtrak, and the defense attorney for another party facing charges related to this matter. All declined to comment for this story. Danny Freeman, NBC10 News.